U.S. intelligence officials will no longer be required to publicly disclose the number of civilians killed in airstrikes against terrorist targets outside areas of active hostilities due to a new executive order issued by President Donald Trump on Wednesday. However, given the secrecy surrounding counterterrorism strikes conducted by U.S. intelligence agencies, it is unclear whether Wednesday's announcement will result in less transparency about how the U.S. conducts such operations. A spokesperson for the National Security Council declined to clarify when asked for more information by CNN. Specifically, Trump's order lifts an Obama-era mandate for intelligence professionals to provide an unclassified summary of the number of strikes as well as assessments of combatant and non-combatant deaths resulting from those strikes each year. The most recent published report, which was released by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence in January of 2017, said U.S. government conducted 54 strikes outside of Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan during 2016, resulting in one civilian death. A spokesperson for the Office of the Director of National Intelligence referred questions about the change to the White House. The Secretary of Defense is legally required to provide a similar report and will continue to do so despite Wednesday's executive order as that requirement falls under congressional oversight as outlined in the National Defense Authorization Act. However, that report pertains solely to U.S. military operations in places like Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, Somalia, and Libya. CNN has previously reported on at least one CIA strike that has taken place during the Trump administration, which occurred in Yemen, killing a senior al-Qaeda bomb maker. The White House said Wednesday's executive order was not an effort to decrease transparency about casualties resulting from U.S. strikes. The United States government is fully committed to complying with its obligations under the law of armed conflict, minimizing to the greatest extent possible, civilian causalities, and acknowledging responsibility when they unfortunately occur during military operations," a National Security Council spokesperson told CNN in a statement.